I'm Devotsna. I am from India, specifically from Bangalore, India. Uh, I first I did design. I've been working for last seven years. I was into marketing and design. I worked uh, in startups in India. Then I moved to Cambodia with Rocket Internet, uh, and then I moved to Estonia, Eastern Europe, and I was a digital marketing specialist there for a couple of years. Moved back to Bangalore, started my own startup. It was a design startup. Ran it for two years, and then I wanted to break. So here I am in Germany, right now, right now pursuing my MBA at HHL. As as I said, uh, I was work, work, working in marketing for a couple of years, and but I had always studied, like I had studied design, so I always wanted to come back to it. And when I was in Tallinn, I got some ideas, and I was thinking I should start my own startup. Uh, and when I did it, uh, I was trying to raise funds also at that point of time. Uh, one of the issues I faced was that uh, I only had a background in design and no business background. So there were things like, oh, it's a female founder with no MBA degree. So there were a couple of things, you know. If you have an MBA degree, you know, we can definitely more than happy to put the funds and stuff, even though everything else was right. But just because there was like a degree plus a female founder thing, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should correct it. And once I got an exit from my startup, I was like, okay, let me just go and you know, do the MBA degree before I start another startup. And that time, I don't want to face the same issue again. So yeah, that's why I'm here doing an MBA, and also taking a break from the long career of going to office. And I think it would be good to go back to college. So yeah, that's why. I was running my own startup, so I was. I have always worked throughout my life in startups. I never worked in a big corporate. I have worked in startups. I ran one. I am planning to do more in future once uh, after a couple of years maybe. So the whole entrepreneurial uh, spirit is something that I live by and something I thrive by, and this is something that HHL represents. This is the first thing when you you see it on their website when you go to the college website, and this is something they work very much about. And I spoke with a lot of alumni before coming to this college, and this is something everybody spoke very highly of, and the kind of startups that has come out of HHL. Are brilliant, and the kind of support system that they provide to the entrepreneurial mindset is something was really uh, was the main deciding factor for me that why I chose uh, HHL. In the first semester, we have all the mandatory courses and something which give structure to the thought process and how to work with people from different backgrounds, and also basic subjects like finance uh, and marketing and and likewise for example there are people who are from engineering background who have never studied about maybe marketing or finance and people like me from design background who don't even know the f of uh, finance so for us you know they have these basic subjects that you need when you are into a business school those were there for the first semester and then after that we have our own electives uh, what are the fields where we want to get into for example i am more keen into marketing so i chose international marketing and uh, marketing simulation there are people who wants to go into finance even though for there are kids who really liked finance when they studied it in the first semester and even though they don't have a background but now they want to move to finance so they are doing their major in finance and likewise value chain creation so depending on which uh, industry you want to go into there is there are courses for almost everything which can complement your uh, dream industry and you can take them and do the major in that for sure uh, as i said like even i have never worked in uh, big corporates and uh, i never know how things work there as such per se but uh, like in in startups everything is very hands on you know you you don't go by big words or big frameworks and something people like everything's on the run and you make things you build things there but what how mba help is they, it gives you the frameworks it gives you the big words with which the corporates function actually so when you go to a corporate things are very systematic in a manner which they follow and uh, these are the things that i am i am seeing here that i am personally learning and in it is right now uh that you just don't uh, come up with an idea and just go and pitch it to a founder or some or to your to your boss or something there's a there's a method that you have to follow there's a way you present it and i think the biggest thing is how to present your idea in a way which can have the f- most uh, most effect on the person you're presenting it to so that you know they are convinced with it for for example right now i can just go and say hey uh, you know i was thinking we should do 
do this thing or whatever but now in mba they're telling you how to do the storytelling how to do a research when you're going to go present an idea so basically to increase the chances of your idea getting selected or appreciated how to do that is something is also being taught here in the school which i learned after coming here which i thought i was not expecting but something that we learned here and also they they prepare you for consulting and to work with different products and different kind of people and basically to do things in a structured manner to give you a structure is what basically happens here so yeah that is what i felt Right now, to be very frank, I haven't decided that which uh, do I want to go into consulting or do I want to go work with a big start, a big uh, corporate or a startup again. But right now, it's helping me to explore other fields because I haven't yet decided. Like, I, I do I want to go to marketing or do I want to go into, uh, let's say, finance or uh, in operations or sales. But for me, it is giving me the luxury. to choose and decide which field i want to go to or maybe restart my career at this point a lot of people do switch and make their switch their careers people who are in tech suddenly get into product people who are to product get into something else so something it gives the luxury to decide where you want to move in life and it 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 helps you with the reset button i would say uh in in my case i am still thinking i'm still very much with uh, the startup mindset so i i'm thinking to go back to a startup but maybe to a bigger role in and because now i know the whole structure process and the big words and stuff so to know how to make things work and how to work with more people and how to get things done is something that you we learn here so planning to apply that in future <laughs> this was one of the i would say there's the most positive thing about hsl that i have personally felt is the very strong alumni network that people are actually very helpful and are there for us but the second thing was the diversity in the class uh the kind of field people are from i am from design back, background there are people who are from the uh, from the law background people who are doctors engineering for sure i know that is the one background every every college has people from the engineering background but here like design engineering law uh defense uh so first the diversity in the background second the diversity uh, in the geography uh people from the from the US from UK from Southeast Asia from India uh even from China and uh, Costa Rica we have a classmate here he 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 keeps correcting us that where is Costa Rica actually present and that we all don't know about this and we are doing it wrong so that is the part of thing like there's so much of diversity i, I was very happy to see that uh, just not in the careers people are coming from but also uh, in the geography per se so that i would say also is all, one of the biggest learning factor that comes here that we all come from our own countries and we have a very straightforward mindset this is how things work at home and somehow if you haven't worked in an international setup you always think this is how things always work in a world but after coming to mba when you're working with people from such diverse background it opens your mind it tells you okay people function differently uh, the ideology the way people fun- work and stuff so that is also one of the biggest thing that we learn in mba that we even didn't think about but that is something happens in the background and is one of the biggest factor that adds on to our personality once we have done the mba so yeah i would say i have become uh, a little more open minded i i i was i would not say i was not open minded before but i would say a little more open minded like now earlier i was like over confident about something no this is what i know but now when you are here with these people and when you learn thing on a daily basis and see how people are changing your perspective so that has made me a little more open minded okay no if i know something i don't think that is the end of the world and you know the big line that this is it people are going to surprise you you are not going to know what all you're going to learn from from the behavior from the way they function for example i used to think i was very efficient how i work but one of a uh, couple of my classmates the they way they function and the way they are efficient i was like wow this is on another level so that's how you learn from people just not professionally also personally but uh, and i i was surprised to to make so many friends after coming to mba i was not hoping i was like you know everybody's like 25 plus 30 plus have like big careers and you know people are going to be very professional and just focus and do that but oh no the kind of friendships that are happening in the mba i'm so glad i'm doing an mba right now <laughs> because i think once you hit a age after that it's little difficult to make new friends you know because everybody have their own set of people and people are not that keen on putting energy and effort to make new friends but also if you want to make new friends at some point of time do an mba <laughs> that is what i will say for me and i'm 
I would say I'm speaking for the whole class when I say this. There was a model called PAC. Uh, it was taught by Ian Di- Ian Diamond. He was the professor, and it was the first course that was that was uh, taught to us. And it was like a three day workshop, and it it told us till this point because everybody had a career and we all have made like hundred of presentations till now, and we all were like so confident that we know how to make a presentation and how to present. And the professor and this course changed the whole thing. That. it taught us like how mundane or repetitive things we do when we are presenting something or working on an idea and the kind of frameworks pack module gave us like how to think of a problem how to think of a solution and how to remove the repetitiveness that we are doing unknowingly that we don't even know but we're repeating things and we think it's a very clean presentation and everything's on point no but that the frameworks that he taught us and the kind of groups we were put into also it was the first time in a very di- diverse group like everybody was very different from each other and how to function with a set of people who may not you know agree with everything that you say or the way that you function so finding that middle ground of on how to function with people from different background and different mindset and working on a problem and defining it in a way that you haven't done before was something uh, which was taught to us uh, in pack and ev- everybody loved it like till this day like it's almost going to be an year in couple of months but this was the course that everybody spoke a lot about and we sp- still speak very highly of it uh second one i personally is like uh, finance because i had no background in finance and i didn't know much about it and while i was running my own startup whenever there was something about finance and numbers my my finance guy the the manager i like you do whatever you do and i trust you so i was because i did had no knowledge about it so i was basically putting blind faith in him that he's not going to do anything wrong and whatever you do is correct but now after studying the finance model everything makes sense that he used to tell me like this entry or that debit credit this that i'm like oh so this is what he was talking about so now if i go back again and do a startup of maybe in any job basically people when they speak basic terms and finance and thing it's going to be helpful like we will not uh, stand like you know oh, i don't know what they're talking about now i know what they're talking about so that that is one and also i i come from marketing background so uh, for me it was okay but it was still a very good course uh, online marketing which is taught by uh, eric meyer but the cl- the people who are not from marketing background they they highly uh, recommend it and even i highly recommend the course the way it has been taught and the content and the structure it's it's really helpful so yeah i would say uh, one thing and it's it's very simple and it, it it might sound very cliche also but that's a reality that come with an open mind and uh, don't judge or don't have too many expectations and no expectations i would say uh, it's like uh, i was the person till i started my mba so that i'm never going to do an mba i used to think why why do i need to do an mba like i have a design degree and i'm running a company and i worked for like 7 plus years i know how things function i don't need an mba i was very much against it but when i came to it i mean when i came to it also i was like i don't know what i'm going to learn here what's going to change and all but it changed 360 degree i would say or like 180 degree whatever f- fits well here and i was like it was very like come with an open mind don't don't have obligations in your mind and don't think okay this is how it's going to be or not this and talk to people before making a choice about your college like talk to the alumni that helps a lot and if people are like specifically agile uh, till this date like even before coming to the college when i haven't even signed up for it uh, i reached out a lot of to a lot of seniors a lot of alumni everybody replied super nice people and they were like very helpful and telling okay why hsl is good and why you should go and what you should do people are giving like half an hour call time you know they were gaining nothing out of it but it was such a helpful culture that was a very big deciding factor like this is one community that you would want to be a part of i would say so in even if you're going to any other college i was just talk to people and see how the college is and you will get an idea about the college from the alumni for sure how they react and how how they advise you and how they help you you get a zest of how the environment in, the, in that college and i think that matters a lot so yeah